So, hey lights. I hope everyone is doing well. I know I've been kind of like missing in action. It's been a rough couple of days, you guys. But Dream is with me today. He told me he wanted to spend time with me today, which is great. <laughs> and we're going to just go grab us something to eat because I'm losing my energy. I haven't been able to eat in... I've been, I ate, like, you know, I ate some McDonald's, but I haven't really ate, like, a good meal. Like, I usually eat small things or just eat all day long, and I haven't been doing that. And it's only because mentally, when I get a little down, I don't eat as much as I usually eat, but I'm coming out of it. And um, today, we're going to go try to clean the car a little bit grocery shop maybe pick up a little things that we might need for thanksgiving not everything but just in case i see something on sale i'm gonna get it while i'm out and because dream is with me i gotta take advantage of that <laughs> you guys remember that take advantage of good moments okay yeah what the freak is all of that dream is that all that for, is that to clean the car with yeah <laughs> He about to get down in the nitty gritty to clean this car. I got to see this. Oh, but no, there's okay. more, but this is just basic for this car. For this car? Yeah, just, just oh my God. That's why his car be looking so freaking good. He do not be playing. But first, we like. I'm going to go get something to eat. And I will be checking in and out with you guys today. And I hope that you're having a wonderful, 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 wonderful day. And I hope that you enjoy this vlog. We all know what the day going to bring us. Mm, look at them bagels. Oh, my God. Okay, I know exactly what I want. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, you too. But, and then I love when I find new places, you know, to eat. Okay, so I want to try the tomato um, basil soup with the, it looks like it says, um, what, the, what the stuff I did, a sandwich, a uh, You can get half the sandwich and then you get the soup. Or if you want to get a soup or you can get a pasta or a salad. With the chicken. I want the sandwich without the. Can you do it without the chicken? Without no meat? Yeah. That one in the uh, picture. Is that uh, panini? The pardon? Tomadori? Yeah. 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 You don't want any chicken in that? Too? No chicken. And did you want to do the combo with that where you have the half sandwich and the soup? Yes. Okay. Yeah, that sounds good. What do you want? The menu looks so good. Chicken oh my god. Pomodori for me. The chicken pomodori for me. You just want the full sandwich? Oh, yeah, the full sandwich. All right. Anything else? Yes. Um, can I please have a hot tea? Do you have hot tea? Yeah, sweet tea. Chicken pomodori check this out you guys oh my god do that not look good twisted lemon ham pie oh my god you know i gotta come back here especially when i gotta sleep too hey do you do military discount yes i got me some hot tea i'm so excited check that out mm, that looks good it's called uh mighty leaf bombay chia okay stop yes Dream was saying it's so pretty outside. See how pretty it is? It is pretty outside. And I was going to sit outside and eat, but I told Dream, shoot, let me relax. Uh, take me a little seat back and enjoy my life because Lord knows I deserve it, man. Shoot, I can always sit outside another time. I'm just so happy my son decided to spend the day with me. It's so sweet. You're so sweet, Dream. <laughs> oh my god. If Plessy go clean my car, oh my gosh. Oh my god. Oh my god. I wonder what's the price I'm gonna have to pay Lord. Oh my god, my children are a trip, you know? But um I 
I think I need to stop at the Dollar Tree today too. I'm going to go just get myself a couple of things for the house. And this weather is, oh my God, we're so lucky, right? I hope y'all having good weather. I was looking at the menu over there and they got pasta. Me and Nadine was riding all up and down Westheimer, just checking out some new places and we saw this place a couple of times. I'm so glad I'm here. It's so freaking cute. And so they're a little expensive for only like $10 for some half of the sandwich and a small cup of soup. But I, I want to try it and I want to enjoy it. You know, but they are, that's kind of expensive, you know. So I might not see this place for a while, but you know, today is okay. It's a good day. Especially because I think James spent a day with me because I got out my bed at 2 o'clock in the morning to come get his behind. He was stuck at the airport. I'm going to tell you, You look cute. Like, uh, he, my own. The like a, you see cream, dream changing, he was like, looking like, like a man. The acne cream I'm using is like taking the bumps and making them mm -hmm. dry out really bad. Mm -hmm. So I'm hoping about two weeks ago. Yeah. Poor Dream was down at the airport. Oh my God. Two o'clock in the morning, he was on the road. Nadine was falling asleep. And I was trying to stay woke. And I was just looking at her, looking at her, trying to keep my eyes open because she was sleeping so comfortable. And when we got to the airport, Dream was like a four-year-old little boy by himself walking so sad to the car. <laughs> oh, wow. He he locked his uh Oh that is so cool. Yeah, he locked his keys. No, no, he didn't lock his keys. He lost his keys. His keys were found five miles away from the airport. They weren't even in the airport. You should make this uh, thumbnail. Hmm? I should make that what? Oh. Thank you. Oh, wow, that looks delicious. It's all right. I got it. You too. Oh, I think she like you, Dreams. Yeah, don't that look good, you guys? You gotta start. I gotta pray more. You gotta pray? I gotta start praying more. So. Yeah, go ahead and pray for Alfred. Dreams said he gotta pray more. He just, so many stuff that happened to him lately. But he's not the only one. A lot of stuff keeps happening to me too. Our whole family going through something. But that's because we are transitioned. And remember what I told y'all, we when you're going through a lot, your breakthrough is coming. Your breakthrough is coming, Dream. It is coming. Yes. Be back. Let us pray. I could have swore they told me that I get a half a sandwich with my soup. This, look at Dream half a sandwich. Oh my God, look at my freaking sandwich. You like a freaking quarter sandwich? Where the rest of my freaking sandwich at? This is um, tomato and basil. Picture. What's this place called? In the bakery? Mm -hmm. No, I ain't no, no, no caption either, right? Hmm? No caption either. Mm -mm. It looks so good. Mmm. Wow, it's amazing. It's the bomb. It really is. Dream says delicious so that's good. Mm, 
It smells so good. He's getting paid for it. As a member of Allstate's Good Hands Rescue Network, you'll Dwayne is sleeping like a baby. He is actually over there snoring. Oh. <laughs> How he eat and then go straight to sleep. <laughs> and then we get to the car wash. And he said, okay, where the quarters at? What quarters? I don't carry no cash for me. I don't have no change. All my change and quarters and stuff, I normally give it away right away. Especially like if a homeless person come up to the car. So I really don't have any change at all. No quarters or nothing. <laughs> so now I'm on my way headed to the bank because he's definitely going to wash this car like he said. And if I don't get to go food shopping, I just don't get to go food shopping. I just have to wait another day. You always, it's always another chance to do something again. It's always a new day, a new day, a new chance. So I'll try it again tomorrow, if not today. But you guys, oh my God, I went to my post office box today and I had a package. I'm so psyched. <laughs> I'm so excited. I can't tell who it's from yet. It's in like a small square box. I'll show it to you when I get a chance. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so excited. I cannot wait to see what's in the box. I cannot wait to see what kind of candy was sent to me. I know that the box said from, the, I think it said Dutch candy. Not from Dutch, but Dutch candy. I was so freaking excited. I just want to examine the box. I've been looking it upside down, turning it over, and I've been trying to find a moment that I could just tear this box open. Then I said, oh, God, 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 I need to share it with my life. Uh, would it be selfish to open up the box without them? So I've been really holding on to the box. So maybe I'll show it to you guys when I get a chance. Oh my God. I cannot stop smiling. Like that took me right off of whatever I was feeling down about. Oh my God. I was like, look at there. A gift, a gift is in the post office box. What? <laughs> super, super psyched. <laughs> And I don't know who sent it, but I just want to say thank you 1,000 times in advance. I truly appreciate it. And I cannot wait to show everybody what's in the box. We went to the grocery store and we ended up being in here for a while because people were doing their holiday shopping, I think. And I was able to get all the things that I needed for my lasagna. So I'm excited about that. And I'm hoping that I don't feel tired when I get home. So I'm going to go ahead and cook it. Um, Cause I definitely really want me something good to eat, but I found me some pistachios, you guys. Oh my goodness! Mmm. This remind me of when um, I had first started doing my story time. I was always looking for a good snack like pistachios or some type of snacks with the almonds, the walnuts, the peanuts, and stuff like that. And I love pistachios, and these are out of the shell. They were $3.98, which is a lot in my opinion, but they do run like $6 to $13, depending on what size of the bag. And I thought, wow, you know, sometimes I like picking them out the, the shell, but, you know, I don't feel like doing all that. I just want to get to the the pistachios and the salt, you know. It says it's got... Um, it says, one, it says, no shell, wonderful roasted and salted pistachios. Huh. I don't need no salt right now, but that's what I got a taste for. Oh, my goodness, you guys. Dream told me that we're not going to have time to wash the car. And as you can see, it is dark outside. Yes, it's dark. So, I'm going to let him off the hook. Oh, I'm choking myself. And um, he's just going to vacuum the car for me. But y'all be grateful for that. He can wash the car another day. And then we're going to go pick up Nadine. And I got a couple of vlogs that I need to uh, edit. So you're going to see a couple of vlogs come up. Um, let's see. I think I mentioned it before. Um, I had a lot of vlogs get stuck in my computer. I was able to get out a couple of vlogs today downloaded to my um, memory card. So... That's going to be fun to do to go back and because you know how you film stuff and you forget all about it. And 
this particular vlog, my grandchildren and my daughter was here. So it's going to be nice to see them again. And um, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Really, Dream? I'm sorry. Why you always got to turn back four years old when we together? Here you go. Thank you. Did you, you find my Arizona? Can you give me um, some Cetaphil? What's that? It's a facial, facial cleaner. Is it in there? It's a deep facial cleaner. How much you need? It's 11. All right, hurry up and get it. Well, I look like I'm going to be sitting here for a minute because Dream went to Walgreens to get his facial stuff in. The reason why he had to do that, you guys, is because he had went um, away. Y'all know he goes away. And um, when he left, he took uh, my mask. He took uh, my facial cleanser. He took his sister moisturizer. And he took some other stuff. <laughs> he took my EMB soap. And we were horrified. <laughs> Can you imagine having a face full of makeup and going in the bathroom and all of your facial product is gone? <laughs> oh, my God. That's how it went. And we were so mad with him. Oh, my God. And I told him, look, okay. He was like, Mom, y'all have everything when it comes to skincare. Like, I like to use whatever y'all got because I know my skin going to be okay. And that's, that's cool and everything, but... Uh, Look, you got to let us know what you're doing because we both had on makeup that day and couldn't find our facial oh, We were just horrified. It was like a bad joke. Like, seriously? But yeah, you guys, I got nuts. And this made me want to tell story time. You guys, one of my special spirits, like, she's new. And I know she's new because I, oh gosh, let me turn the light back on. Um... I, I recognize every single spirit of light that starts to leave me comments and I start to get familiar with them. And she watched a, one of my old, old, old stories. And that was when my cousin had put me out on the street. Do y'all remember that, you guys? And when I was in Virginia, when I, when I left New Jersey and moved to Virginia, my cousin threw me out. But she pulled in front of an airplane and she goes to the trunk of the car. To the ground. Spread just whoosh, 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 whoosh. and I realized that my clothes, my bag, whatever I came with. It's like, what are you doing? What are you doing? What why are you doing this? Oh, my seven year old said, get out. Get out of my car. And she opened up the door with my um, baby girl in it. And she lifted her up and put it in my arms. What's going on? What's going on? And she says, you live in my house. You don't want to give me no money? You think you're going to come down here and start over, get yourself a job, and save money on me? Oh, my goodness. I watched that story the other day, and it just took me back. And I said, oh, my God. It was so sweet to see me when I first started uh, doing YouTube. <laughs> oh, my goodness. And... I remember the story wasn't exactly about her, but she played a role in the story in the beginning. And I kind of left y'all right there with her. I never came back and talked about what happened or what how our relationship evolved. And me and my cousin ended up, you know, with family, you make up. You, you fight, you break up as family, you get back together. Well, that's what kind of happened with us over the years. And I want to tell y'all that story uh, when I get a chance. I think I'm going to use these pistachios to tell that story, to tell how we were in, 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 the, how we were in each other's life. And unfortunately, um, we still fought each time we got back into each other's life. But I will let you know. Uh, where we stand and where we at till this day um, in that story. And I think that would be um, a nice story to tell because I I haven't had nobody to really talk to about it. And I wanted to talk to her about it. I tried to talk to her a couple of times. 
about the whole situation, everything in our lives that went down. So I'm going to tell you guys about it. And I don't want to get into it right now because then I've been out telling y'all the whole daggone story. Y'all know how I am. I forget that I was supposed to be using it in the story time. But yeah, I'll play a clip in this vlog just to give you um, a quick rundown of the first story so that you won't be lost when I bring back... Um, the rest of the story about what happened to me and my cousin. Yeah, that. <laughs> and then another special spirit of light. I think it's Honey Honey. Told me, she told me her favorite video. You guys, I don't even remember that video. I'm going to put a clip in it, but I cracked up laughing. And I said, oh my God, it must have been one of them days that I just was venting. Because sometimes I'll turn on the camera like now and I'm just rambling. And I'll just talk about anything. And you got, I don't remember what I said. I don't remember what I talked about. I'll just tell you what's going on in my life at that moment. I might give you a memory. And I know a lot of stuff don't even come in to my mind. Uh it just pops in there that I don't send out saying I'll, I'll just say anything like right now, like the thing that's done, what's in my mind. Is it just me? Is this, you know, so you know, stuff like that, you know, <laughs> I'll be having all kinds of stuff flowing through my mind, but I am so glad that I'm coming back into myself, you guys. Oh my God. I was talking to my son earlier and he's feeling so down. And I said, you know, it's amazing that me, him, and his sister is all feeling down at the same time. And I think it's because, you know, we had hope that, you know, our family is completed. Well, we have Toya, and we have the grandkids, and we're all connected. And I think it starts to hurt us around the holiday time when we realize that things are still mm, the same as it's always been. And we've always been alone. It's just always been the three of us, you know. And every time Toya comes around, we get so freaking happy. But then she leaves this, like, damper on our lives and leaves us kind of hurt all over again she does it all the time and you guys don't feel sorry for me I'm not sad or anything it's it's just a temporary emotion that just coming through you know because it's been on my mind a lot and you know the holidays are coming up and you know and, and you know it, it hurts as a mom it hurts me you know because we, with the type of person that I am, I know that I was a 200% mother. And it just hurts me that my children, you know, can, you know, can just do little things and, and think that, you know, it's okay. And then I'll get over it. They always expect for me to get over it, which I, I don't think I get over it. I don't think I get, I don't think... I don't ever think I get over it. I think I just move forward. You know what I'm saying? That's what I learned to do. I just learned to, to move forward. But I got to find me a napkin. <sighs> yes, honey. Wipe them tears. Dry them tears up, baby. You is okay. You is okay, spirit. Yes. But yes, um... Yeah, we we all start to feel down at the same time. But I was telling my son earlier, don't take on too much while you're young when it comes to people. You know, don't take other people's energy while you're so young because you have layers to yourself and you're going to change. You're not, you're not going to be the same person when you're 21 and you're not going to be the same person when you're 27. You're going to continue to evolve and you're going to continue to grow. And that's what I want to tell some of the young people that watch me. Don't, don't feel too bad about what's going on in your life right now. Um, life is about failures and uh, greatness and good things. Now, when you fail, don't think that it's the end of the world and that your life is over and that you don't want to be here anymore. Failure gives you courage. 
and it gives you what you need to be able to survive the bigger task. Sometimes when we fail, you think it's so, so bad, but it's preparing us for something that's coming. And when it comes, you're going to be able to handle it. You're going to be able to deal with it. You're going to be able to resolve it in a better way, in a better situation, because you're going to learn your lesson from the failure that you go through in the moment that you're in, okay? And failure make you great okay it brings the greatness out of you okay and when you fail don't feel like you're a failure just remember that you are learning a life lesson and that's what life is about is learning lessons and being able to appreciate the blessings and enjoy every single moment that you in just like for instance when I was younger, I enjoy being a mom, and I'm so glad that I had decided to put my children first above all things because those memories are mine, and I get to look back, and I don't have to regret, you know, um, not doing all that I could. Now, I fell some things. Some things did not work out or pan out for me, but my children enjoyed their childhood. They didn't even know when I was hungry. They didn't know that I cried when they slept. They didn't know that I was scared and didn't know which direction what I was going to do, who I was going to talk to. They had no idea what I was going through. They still felt the joy of being children because that's what being a mother is about, is being able to take on all of the pain and the bad things that's going around you and your children not have to be affected by it. My children had no idea. I still took them to the park. I still talked to them. I still read them stories. I still played piggyback. I let them run around and laugh and have so much fun as children. They had no idea of what I went through as a mother while they were enjoying life. They just, even my like when I went to the store and I could scrape up money to get them a Slurpee, they thought that was like the greatest thing when it probably was the last few cents in my pocket and I didn't know where I was going to get any more money to be able to feed them. They didn't know. They had no idea. But that's what being a mother is about is being able to provide for your children and being good to them without them knowing all of the pain that you're going through. You have layers to your life, and that's a layer of my life. That part of my life is gone now. I'm a new person. I'm no longer the my me. I'm the mother now of adult children. So I have no regrets. I'm so glad I chose to be a good mother. But anyway, you guys, I'll be back because Dream's going to back in my car, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Dream finally get into the car, you guys. Oh my goodness. And I'm already tired by just going, huh? Mm -hmm. You gotta yank it out. Yeah, give it here. And I'm already tired by just pulling stuff out of the car. He's very precise when it comes to cleaning. I'm glad he is, but I wish he would help me with the car more often. And I'm still trying to sip on my tea a little bit. It's really good. It's been pretty warm today and my tea is still warm. I went grocery shopping and it's still kind of tight warm. Mmm. He, did he just throw away a penny? Don't be throwing away no penny. He said somebody gonna be lucky. You're supposed to lose pennies by mistake, not throw them away on purpose. Like, that's crazy. Anyway, I hope you guys did well today. I hope you had, I hope you really did have a great day because throughout the day I got to start feeling better. And I'm so excited. Oh, let me show you guys my box while I'm running off at my mouth. I am so freaking psyched. I was reading it. It says Dutch candy, Dutch 
it almost looks like it says cookies maybe and did it look like it says oh, something love like a cold chocolate no i don't say i think i don't know and did it say lipstick oh god i can't wait to open up this freaking box i cannot wait oh my god you guys this is so exciting Dream don't pull everything out of the car. <laughs> I don't mind them. I love adding a little bit of ASMR to my vlogs. It's so relaxing, right? I'm so glad that a lot of you liked the chocolate factory vlog and that it was so relaxing for you. I can't wait to do another cute vlog for you. As soon as I'm feeling jolly and happy inside, I'm gonna do one. Tomorrow, I got a busy day, me and my daughter. We gotta take care of some legal business. This goes in the front seat? Uh, that goes in the back seat. Oh, it's all messed up, you don't want this, huh? Yeah, I still want it. Don't think he's ready to throw my carpet away. Oh my God, really? Shoot, we done paid this car all out on here. What's messed up in it? I love every bit of it. Every bit of it. You guys, let me tell y'all that, speaking of that, when we paid off the car, before we paid off the car, we had maybe about six more payments to go. So we decided that we would pay three payments in advance so that, you know, we could hurry and try to get the car paid off. And they sent us a letter and they started calling the phone, like, like, on a, like all the time, like harassment. And we couldn't understand why was they calling like that. So we contacted them and told them that we made three payments. Why are they calling the phone like that? What's going on? They said, well, you're three months late with the car. And we are like, no, we made three payments. Oh, we put it with the principal. But when we tried to make payments in the past, they told us in order for the, the payment to go towards the principal, we had to call them and they have to send an email and then they have to email us back and let us know it's confirmed and then it could go towards the principal. Now all of a sudden, they took our payments and put it towards the principal and said that our, our car was late and they was gonna pick it up, you guys. They was gonna take our baby from us when we only had three more payments to go. Unfreaking believable like unfreaking believable It's so much done happen. And Toya had made a promise to us that she was gonna, you know, she had sent actually she had sent Nadine a text and and this was a long while ago told us that she was going to pay the last three thousand dollars on the car and we were so excited and so happy that the car was going to be paid off and um long story short no she didn't do that we had to end up doing what we can to try to save the car and it was it was stressful it put a lot of stress on us and we and then i asked toya i said toya are you for real are you really gonna um pay the last three thousand on the car she said yeah mom i wouldn't have sent you a text if i wasn't telling the truth and i really thought she was serious i thought she was telling the truth and my my daughter's like well mom i really do hope toya is telling the truth because why would she tell us something like that and text us and send us confirmation that that's something that she wants to do for us and then don't do it. I said, I don't think Toya would do that. But you know what, you guys? But you got to remember, and this for anybody in your life, you got to remember who, who people are. Just because somebody do something nice for you one time don't mean that you can trust them and don't mean that they change. It doesn't mean that they change. Remember that. You know, and sometimes you just want to believe that, like with boyfriends and girlfriends and husbands. You just want to believe that they love you, they respect you, they appreciate you, and that 
they're not going to lie to you and they're not going to make false promises and, or if they did in the past at this time be different you know the who people are once a person show you who they belong once a person show you who they are believe them believe them you know and because toya is my daughter and she sent her sister a text i just really thought that wow okay what well, toya is just want to be a good sister to her sister you know and i you know and i don't want to believe that she did that to maybe somehow or another bring bring up hurt feelings or make a person feel bad i don't know what the reason was but what bothers me is her uh, when we contacted her she told us over and over and over again that she was definitely doing it and she never did it and it just amazes me uh, that she hasn't even called to apologize or say i'm sorry and this is the reason why i haven't done it nothing you know we don't we don't need her to do it now because we did it ourselves but you know what we could do you know we did the best we can and it's you know sometimes things don't work out the way you want to but you do the best you can that you can but right now what we're going to do is i'm going to start looking for in a less expensive place to live and i'm gonna i don't know yeah we're gonna try to find somewhere less expensive to live and maybe less noisy because for some reason it's too noisy here it's not working out for me i'm i'm really starting to like get the press over it well hopefully this make you feel like doing it <laughs> so pretty the night light I wish I could see the moon where is it I don't see the moon nowhere it's so dark in the night even in the sky maybe you see the moon This thing is feeling better. It don't hurt anymore. Don't feel no more venom. I was looking at my page earlier and I now have 7,600 and something subscribers but well, actually when I looked at it it actually said seven six zero zero and I'm like whoa stop really oh my god I'm so excited I'm and, and, I, and I'm still super super like I'm, I'm so small you know compared to the you know so many um, well-deserving youtubers and artists out there but I truly just appreciate where I am. I remember when I got 700 subscribers and I was just so freaking happy and so excited. And I still feel the same way. And I just want you guys to know that hard work pays off. And don't worry about me. Everything's going to be fine with me. <laughs> My hard work is going to pay off. Huh? What is that? Smell it. I want to smell it. What is it? What is it? Oh, no. You guys to know that, yeah, sometimes um, I do, I, I suffer with anxiety, you know that. And sometimes things get hard for me and um, I have to mentally stay strong, you know, because I had to stay strong 
my whole entire life. And now that my children are all grown up and the past is behind me, things overwhelm me and they hit me at one time. But I'm a very, very strong individual. But I'm not afraid to show my emotions because it's healthy and it's, it's good to release pain sometimes, you know, the best way that you can. And right now I don't have a best friend. I don't have a husband. I don't have a boyfriend. I don't have a girlfriend. I don't have no associates. I'm all alone, except for my lights. You are all I have. And my children. And I just want you to know I'm happy with that. I'm okay with that for now because it may not always be that way. And if it is, I'm going to enjoy it. I'm going to enjoy you, enjoy my children, enjoy the moment I am, and just enjoy what I have. You know, you can't have it all. You can't have everything. But, you know, I may not have a lot for other people, you know, physically. But I'm breathing, I'm walking, I have a YouTube channel, I have memories, I have love for my children, and I'm trying to do the best I can to continue being happy, and if I can make one person feel better, and one person happy, and one person feel loved, then that's what I want to do because, you know, I may not be there for you physically. I wish I could. Maybe one day I'll have money and I'll be able to travel. And if you're in the hospital and if you don't feel well and you're really going through something, then I could come see you and help you. I would do that. I will come and sit with you and talk to you. I will have meetups for my spirits of light. You know, I will have lunch with you. I would try to be there for you if that could ever happen for me. If I can ever afford to really travel and find a way to get to you, I, that's what I'm going to do. That's what I want to do. I want to be able to be there for people who really, really, really need me or need someone. You know, so they just need someone just to be there, to listen to them, to hold their hand, to just um, show their presence and know that someone out there actually really care. And, you know, just like God, he's not here to physically hold us, but you feel it in your heart, you feel it mentally. And that's what I want you to feel for me, feel mentally that I love you and that I care. And that when you leave me messages and give me little pieces of your life, I take that in and I think about you. There's so many different things. I, I, won't, I can't remember everybody's name right now. Matter of fact, I probably won't even mention names that I can tell you. I have a light who's in bed with a broken leg. And it watches my channel. And I pray and think about them, hope that they get well soon so that they can get back to what they need to do for themselves and their family. And hoping that they feel better and that they don't suffer too much later on you know because of whatever happened to them i had a light that was stuck and frightened and her friend was um passed away her best friend passed away um i have a light who has a grandbaby who has passed away and that's very sad you know i have a light who suffer with anorexia um, insomnia, I have a, a light that suffers with anxiety, depression. I have a light who thinks about killing themselves. And when once I knew that, I had to immediately contact them to make sure that they was okay. And I was so happy when they contacted me back and said that they're feeling better. They're not feeling that way anymore. So I have so many different, you know, lights. And then I have lights that just mom to just like watching me or just women who maybe relate to me in some type of way. And then I have lights that, you know, I'm completely different from. I'm probably weird or whatever, but they just enjoy my channel. So I think about you guys all the time. And a great thing about love is it doesn't have to be no conditions on it. Okay, you guys, dreams calling me. I gotta go.
I got me some veggie meat. I'm going to cut up these cucumbers and put some, um, what is it? The red wine vinegar. I got a little bit left. So I'm going to saute that with, with some onions and no. And I'm going to, I got my sharp cheese, my mozzarella cheese. I'm going to cut up my green pepper and I got some cottage cheese and I got the lasagna noodles. And that was because of ASMR requests that I do the lasagna video. So I'm trying to get the lasagna done plus I'm hungry and then my kids are going to go to the you guys. Like, I'm like...